Recently, I made a game for the GMTK Game Jam 2021 and I did it with absolute strangers. For those of you who don't know what a game jam is, it's a competition where you have a certain amount of time to make a game within a given theme. And for this game jam, GMTK made a website to connect game developers to form teams with each other. I teamed up with two people, Untab and Daps, to whose wishes I have linked his YouTube channel down below. You can go check it out if you want. And while you're down there, a sub and like to this video would be greatly appreciated. After a few days for waiting for the theme, it was announced, joined together. We divided ourselves to primary tasks. I would do the coding, Untab would do the art, and Daps would do music and sound effects. We quickly rushed for ideas and ended up choosing a top-down shooter where the player shoots part of themselves and collects them so that they can shoot it again, and we didn't have any time to work on the games this day. Since my time zone is the earliest, I woke up early and started the day by adding player movement. The player moves with the W, A, S, and D keys and always faces the mouse. Then I started working on the shooting and collect bullet mechanisms, which took a while but didn't take that long to complete. I also added a bit of polish to get a feel of what the finished game would look like. Antab had also created a cool player sprite, so I put it into the game and it was looking good. We had our first finished prototype, I would say it was a productive day. Now at this point we started encountering problems. Since we were all under the age of 18, our parents literally controlled our lives and were a little challenging of the time we put into the game. And also where I live, we commonly have outages and internet cutouts, so communicating with the others was a bit difficult. Now that the player was done, it was time to add the enemies. <coughs> Untab made a good zombie sprite and I put it into the game. And then added a few points where the zombies can spawn from. Then added a damage <coughs> function. How the damage function works is that the zombies also feed of the player parts. So if an enemy successfully attacks you, you have one less bullet to fire. And if you get attacked after shooting all your bullets, you will get killed and it's game over. It's a great concept that I want to further develop in a future game. So if you want to see when that happens, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss it when it comes out. After adding these new functions, we remembered that we needed the bullets to be part of the player. And throwing the player's body parts did not look like a good idea since the player was now a human being. So we decided that the bullets would be fragments of the player's souls. Yes, so much less scarring. Untab made a simple animation for the player and the zombie and drew two sprites of a moving yet stationary soul fragment. We slapped them all together and we basically had a finished game. What were left were a title screen, some music, and some sound effects. But as I said, we had run into a few problems. At that moment, both Untab and Dabs could not do any more progress because their parents had restricted them from using their computers. And since I was in the middle of an outage, I assumed they were working on the title screen and the sound design and could not communicate with them to confirm. And when electricity returned, the game wasn't published. So I opened each drive up. Seven minutes remaining. I clicked on publish, then tried to upload the game. But wait, I hadn't built the game, meaning it was not a playable game file yet. So I had to build it. But first I needed a name. Um, um, a survivatory. After building it, I put it in a zip file and started uploading it to itch.io. It was working. 5%, 10%, 20%, 25%. What happened? Oh no, I was late. I didn't upload it in time. I considered emailing GMCK to tell them what had happened, but I didn't think it was worth it and they probably had much more important things to do. Well, the game was not published nor ranked for the game jam, but at least it was semi done. I had made a quick title screen during the outage just in case, and it also is a playable game, just silent. And to respect the time other jam participants put into their work, I decided not to add anything to the game and upload it in its current form. You can play the game, top link in the description down below. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and peace out.